I'm Nick Snow, watching Government for Oil and Gas Journal in Washington, D.C. More than four years after a four-point earthquake in Youngstown made national headlines, Ohio regulators believe they are getting induced seismicity from oil and gas waste disposal wells under control. Almost 300,000 oil and gas wells have been drilled in the state, according to Richard J. Simmers, who is the Ohio and Gas Resources Management Division Chief at the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. Earthquakes associated with their operation were rare in Ohio until March 2011, when tremors began to occur near Youngstown, including one on New Year's Eve, which registered four points on the Richter scale. Once the seismic activity was traced to a disposal well on a previously dormant formation near Pennsylvania, Governor John R. Kasich, a Republican, quickly ordered it and four others shut down while state agencies established a more comprehensive seismic monitoring system. He acted decisively, Simmers told OGJ during the National Association of Regulatory Utility Commissioners' recent 2016 winter meeting. That set the right tone for all of us to start tackling the problem. Certain well operators now have to deploy and monitor seismic units near injection wells. Other safeguards introduced since early 2012 include design controls, geologic traps, physical barriers, well construction limits, and monitoring and regulatory controls. The state has been very proactive in installing seismometers throughout eastern Ohio to better analyze seismic data as it relates to the oil and gas activity there, a spokesman said. If data show a probable correlation to an event, ODNR can take appropriate steps to ensure public health and safety, including shutting down a well for future inspection by its experts. When combined with monitoring efforts by ODNR's Geological Survey and Oil and Gas Resources Management Divisions, as well as the U.S. Geological Survey, stakeholders better understand seismic activity taking place in the state. Currently, more than 50 seismic monitors are collecting data across Ohio, including 19 owned by ODNR, the department's spokesman indicated. Simmers said that induced seismicity, which has been studied in the U.S. since the 1950s, is extremely rare and most common in stage 2 disposal wells. A micro-seismic quake is less than three, he told Nehruk's National Natural Gas Committee on February 17th. In Ohio, we monitor around 2.5. That's when we tell operators to modify operations. If they do, they can reverse the process. That same day, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission ordered operators there to reduce wastewater disposal volumes by more than 500,000 barrels a day, or approximately 40% in an action covering 5,281 square miles and 245 disposal wells going into the Arbuckle Formation. Ohio has found ways to handle this problem, Simmers told OGJ following the Nehruk Committee meeting. Oklahoma will too. That's Watching Government for this week. In Washington, I'm Nick Snow for Oil and Gas Journal.